Well, we started off our 4th of July with some dry and sunny conditions early on, but already seeing some of that rain move through as we still have a severe potential for our afternoon. As of right now, tracking this line of thunderstorms and showers slowly entering our area. You could see already over our heads for most of the part, but we are going to continue to see this moving forward as we head into the rest of the afternoon. So communities it will reach sooner rather than later. Looks like up next is Rockford just before, just after I should say 1230, a little bit closer to 1245 Cherry Valley and a little bit further into DeKalb right after 1 p.m. So we're going to keep this going as we cross over to the rest of our afternoon, but we'll still hold on to a chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms for the rest of your 4th of July. So isolated in nature, but that chance really sticks with us through most of our afternoon. We get a little closer to the evening. We may get a little bit of dry time, but we're still going to see some activity bubbling up potentially into the overnight hours. In terms of that severe potential, a two out of five, our entire area under that potential for this afternoon. If any of those storms do become severe, they may pack a punch, bringing some gustier winds, damaging hail, even a low tornado risk. All possible for these storms as we head through the rest of our 4th of July. So let's pan it out here on future track. We'll see this system exit, bringing us a little bit of dry time, but some of those thunderstorms may already be bubbling up, especially along that state line as we head into the rest of our evening. Notice though, some of us may get that dry time as we head into the afternoon. A little bit further, just before 9 o'clock, we're seeing already some of those clusters slowly starting to bubble up as well. As they move through the area, this model is keeping a lot of them primarily to the northeast, but regardless, all of us under that same potential, so keep an eye on the sky as we head into the rest of our evening as we're going to hold on to that chance for the rest of our day today. Your temperatures will climb into the middle 80s. We'll see those showers and thunderstorms moving through now with that first round and the second round does come in a little bit later into our evening. Tonight will fall into the 70s, mid 70s there for you overnight before we end up seeing yet another chance for storms really almost daily for this entire week and that's thanks to this pattern that has set up. It's what's known as a ring of fire. We have this very large area of high pressure and right on the northeast side of it a really ample environment to produce those storms as we head through the rest of our week which you'll notice through daily chances and along with that the heat will really take over tomorrow. We'll see a heat advisory go into effect for as of right now just Stevenson, Joe Davy, Carroll and Whiteside County would not be surprised to see the rest of us under some kind of heat alert into tomorrow. It does expire at 8 p.m. on your Tuesday. Take a look at those temperatures 96 degrees into tomorrow and daily chances for those storms all the way through Friday. Something to keep an eye on as we will have yet another severe potential into tomorrow and in your most accurate 10 day forecast Looks like we get that sunshine just in time for the weekend and your temperatures will feel pretty toasty even through the extended forecast back into the upper 80s. Cassandra.